Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 163. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, so pretty. The weather's perfect for traveling. Oh. Mm. Shall we return to the restaurant in Wowo? Will we dine together? Yes, let's. <laughs> I'm happy you agree. I wanted to come here with him. But it was not to be. She's sad about it. Oh. <laughs> this place is always so beautiful. I agree. I hope everyone can come next time. Miss Rose and Laura were really disappointed they couldn't come. Your Majesty! They joked that only the redheads were being excluded. <laughs> Everyone was eager to accompany me once I revealed that my magic awakening didn't have to be top secret like my pregnancy. But this being a personal visit, I kept my party small. I also brought along masters for Henry's peace of mind. Hmm? The Viscount looks glum. Is it because Neon isn't here? I'm sorry for making you join me on this long journey. Navier? That voice. Why do they look so distressed? <sighs> the Remarried Empress, episode 163. While I wish I could just pretend I hadn't seen him. We must act in a manner befitting our titles. I heard the news about your daughter's birth. Congratulations. Thank you. I suppose it would be difficult to use my gift now. Was it thrown away? May your life be like the sword I have given you. Extravagant and beautiful. I could not tell you. Russia has it. I see. I think we've exchanged enough pleasantries to not seem rude. Uh, step back for a moment. Uh, what more does he have to say? I thought you'd be doing well. Why have you lost so much weight? It's because I can barely hold anything down due to morning sickness, but I can't tell him that. Is it because of your husband? Uh, no. If he's causing you distress, you know that you are welcome back any time. I assure you, it has nothing to do with him. Why is he suddenly acting like this? After telling me to leave him behind and live a happy life. I heard that your husband has been causing you grief. Did he hear the rumor about Krista? I don't know where you heard those rumors, but don't pay them any mind. They're false. You need not lie for the sake of your pride, Navier. You- I'm the happiest I've ever been, your majesty. Uh, the happiest you've ever been? Happier than when we were on good terms? Sure. I was happy when we were young, but that happiness had nothing to do with you. If I could, I would cut you out of my memories. Do you get it now? You were the one who ruined what we had together. Uh. You lost any right to concern yourself with my affairs the moment we divorced. Navier. I don't care what you heard. Don't meddle in my life. Farewell. <sighs> she is shook. Why are you here? That's not for you to know. You may have been able to get away with that if you were just Navier. 
for your Empress Navier of the Western Empire. Is he really pressing the this issue? I came here to meet the Dean. Why? Must I tell you all the details? Are you also involved in this affair? What affair? What could cause ex his expression to darken like that? I'm referring to the decline of Enmana. Whatever do you mean? Perhaps she doesn't know. If you are truly unaware, let me give you a word of advice. Don't trust Emperor Henry. I was able to part from him right after. But what he said lingered on my mind. The Dean's office at Wilbur Academy. I apologize, Your Majesty, but I'm afraid I can't help you right now. Is it because I'm now the Empress of the Western Empire? No, it's not because of that. Please, don't get the wrong idea. I fully embrace your remarriage. Then why can't you help me? <clears throat> I'm a mage and a citizen of the Eastern Empire. I have no choice but to distance myself from the Western Empire until those suspicions are proven false. I'm sorry. So Veshi warned me not to trust Henry. Then there was also what the Dean said. Does that mean people suspect the Western Empire of having caused the, this, this this declined in mana? On what grounds? If I consider the change I went through, it seems plausible that one could steal mana from another person. But could Henry be capable of doing something so dreadful? Uh, Your Majesty, you need to see this. What is it? It's about that woman. Oh, there's a man claiming to be Rasha's real father. Rasha denied the allegation for days, but she suddenly changed her statement yesterday evening. He's not my father by birth, but I was in his care for a while. Yes, I might be as well be your actual father after everything I've done for you. <laughs> Did this woman do something to make this journalist resent her? He raises suspicions from various angles. I see what you mean. At first glance, it seems like he's criticizing the man who claimed to be her father for changing his story. Her Majesty's kindness knows no bounds. The entire nation might be swindled at this rate, but Her Majesty offered to care for her, foster father as well. Couldn't she just get a paternity test from the temple and only support her birth parents? I know there was that check incident, but I thought she'll be doing well because she gave birth to a child. What is going on with you, Rashta? Okay, nothing, nothing crazy or dramatic except for, of course, Navier ran into um, Soveshu, and of course. We see, we obviously know that Sauvage resent divorcing Navier. He still loves her, ironically, still loves her. Now that he lost her, he now wants her back. But yeah, I do, I do understand his point of view. Like, hey, I want her back. I won't do anything to get her back and uh, open the door, uh, let the door open so she knows that she's always welcome home. But he burned the bridges. He literally tossed her to the side for his new little toy. And now that that toy is disgusting and rude and evil, he's like, oh yeah, I should have just kept the per per the perfect person for me, but it's too late, you know? And Navier has every every right to be like, you need to stop t worrying about me, I'm fine. You know, I will, be always, I will always be on my, back on my two feet if anything ever happens to me, you know? So yeah, he needs to mind his own business, but, I kind of wish she kind of discovered the whole mana issue as well. It kind of sucks that people 
who works or partner with the Eastern, Eastern Empire refused to help her because she is part of the Western. Ah, <sighs> but I don't know. So pretty much her trip there is pretty much useless. All right, guys, I can't wait. But now, of course, now we are here. So the rumor about Rasha's real father coming into the picture. So, but remember, last episode, so basically, got people to kind of get rid of Rasha's real father. So, don't know what happened to him, but we're gonna find out sooner or later. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.